Hey everybody, this is Open Thoughts, uh, coming back at you again. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Kanye West's interview um, with um, was a BBC uh, radio. So, you know, there's a lot of hidden stuff in that interview that I don't think a lot of people understand. One thing you have to understand, this guy is very passionate about what he believes. Very passionate. And you know what I'm saying? And if you don't understand that his passion you will think he's crazy but i believe that uh you can't be you can't be crazy if you're not passionate about something you know so if you're looking at him that way but what he's basically saying is that he's brought so much attention and he's trying to build and um create a better world for individuals which i'm going which i'm going for you know we're trying to build a better better world and there's people that shutting him down like he talked about the uh, leather jogging pants and he said six years ago, he brought that attention to somebody and then they told him no and now they have it. Basically, what the, one of the messages that they try and what he's trying to tell you is, is that these people only want them to be, be entertainers. You know, they want you to entertain. They want you to jump around. You know, they want you to do a minstrel show. And, you know, they, they want, they, that's what they want. They want you to be only stick to one thing and they don't want you, want people to understand that your creativity can be explored can go further than just a a seat you know further than just what you're doing right now you know because a lot of us have more creative um talents and abilities that we're not expressing or we're not um pursuing because we've we've been taught that you only should stick to this one thing and by him trying to step away from that uh, it's like it shakes the game because now we can do more than one thing and they keep denying them because of the fact of creative geniuses only want to do is create and want to make it's not so much about the money the money will come it's all about being better and creating a, a bigger world and a bigger genre and people thinking higher and a higher upliftment 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 <laughs> Uh, um, of themselves and their thoughts. So when he said, he said, when you listen to my music and when you hear these albums, are you really listening to yourself? I'm just a stand man. And he's telling the truth. You know, you, you, you got to realize that a lot of the stuff that he's saying, his stuff you want to say. When he said, I am a God, okay? If you understand what he means, a lot of you folks don't understand. He can, he can, he's probably not even talking about a God of above in the sky he's he's talking about the world and his universe in his universe he's a god we all have individual universes and we all are gods of our universe whether if we negative gods positive gods whether if we aggressive gods whether if we passive god you know whatever whatever your universe because we all have a universe if there's a big universe and we have energy extracted from the universe then we all have a universe, you know, and this is in his universe, he, and that's what he believes. But you can't say that his universe is wrong for what he believes. And from what I'm saying, he keeps going to these companies, these huge, these huge companies, and telling, telling these people, you know, what I'm saying, here's an idea, take it. They don't want him to do it because that's the front man. Because see, if Steve Jobs came up with the same um, approach that Kanye's trying to come up with then what does that tell you you know what i'm saying like is it i don't know is it is it um because he's a rapper because you know he's not the face because of the skin color because you know they still fight that all the time you know what i'm saying and what really what they want you guys to do is kind of in a sense of a step in fletcher they don't you know they kind of only want you to be what they want you to be not what you want to pursue you know what i'm saying it's just like the nba you know, you got all these big, big black players, these entertainers, but they're not the owners. They're just the players. They want to just control you. They want you to be their entertainer, you know. And so I understand what he's saying. And, and you know, with these cameras and this paparazzi and, you know, TMZ, why does TMZ have to continuously get footage of people going to interrupting this man at 4 o'clock in the morning? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And if anybody is disagreeing with what he's saying, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're an idiot because if somebody came to your house at four o'clock in the morning, if somebody shut down all your ideas, it, you know, if if you kept trying and trying and trying and trying, 
and they keep shutting you out, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to say about it? You know, you know, what if you were him? Look, put yourself in, in that position. If you put yourself in his position and you saw and you were given that interview, you know, how would you feel? If you understand who this guy is, he's very passionate. You know what I'm saying? We can either you agree or disagree with his music, but you know he's very passionate when he does anything, and that's what we have to be. We have to be passionate about something. And you have to learn that. Listen to what this man is saying. So, you know, I thank you guys, you know. I just had to take the time out to tell some truth <laughs> um and some understanding. But thank you and you know, have a good one. Peace.